<clears throat> it's Triple H Guy 2004. I'm here back on YouTube. I've been gone for a couple weeks. Um, the reason is this. I have a broken. I broke three bones in my left foot, my left ankle, um, uh, a couple days before Christmas. So I was in the hospital for a few days. Um, and then I came home for Christmas. I came home Christmas Eve. Um, I've been re recuperating here at home. Um, the recuperation is um, but I'm here to review WWE King of the Ring DVD that I got a few weeks ago, a few days ago, maybe. I got it on the Blu-ray. Um, I like this DVD. I really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed a lot of the matches. I like, uh, a lot of people have said, I've watched a few other people's reviews, and a lot of people said that they, they threw in other matches other than the tournament matches for the King of the Ring. But, you know, a lot of those matches that I hadn't seen, I haven't seen on other DVDs, and I haven't, one, a few of them I hadn't seen at all. Like, I, or I don't remember it. Like, the Shane McMahon, Vince McMahon, and Triple H match in Boston. Um, for the King of the Ring in 2000. Yeah, I think it was 2000. Um, I, I totally forgot they were in Boston for King of the Ring 2000. But, um, I definitely give this... A lot of the matches are on other DVDs, like, um, but one of the matches I did watch was... I watched a lot of the matches. I tried watching the matches that I haven't seen in a long time, or if I watched them, or... But, um, yeah, it's a pretty good DVD. I got the Blu-ray, the two discs, the regular version, like usual, came out in three discs. I like the Blu-ray screens on the side. I have a TV where I can just, you know, zoom in and get rid of the, the square, and I just leave it so I can see the HD, and it's fine. Um, definitely give this DVD a 8 out of 10. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the the build up, and um, I wasn't too really didn't like about it was Booker T. If it was Booker T, that would have been fine, but he reverted back to his King Booker days, and I really wasn't too keen on King Booker. I mean, I like Booker T, and I like that he won the King of the Ring, but I didn't like where they took the character. I didn't like how they tried to give him an English accent and all that. And he acted like everybody was better. He didn't really do a good job at doing that, I don't think. I think that was probably one of his worst career paths that I've seen Booker T in. Because I've been watching Booker T since WCW. And But, yeah. I give that an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad that they put Brock Lesnar's match on there. Um, and they mentioned... Throughout the thing, I really enjoyed that they mentioned some of the old superstars that won just during the matches. Like, I think in the match in Boston, I believe it was, um, between Kurt Angle and, um, I can't remember who he faced, but, oh, Edge. During the Kurt Angle-Edge match, I think, or it was the one that Kurt Angle actually won. I can't remember, but they were talking about Owen Hart and... Now they don't mention Owen Hart as much as they should. I know that's because of Martha Hart, his wife, and she's a bitch. But, um, yeah, so that's my review. I also got somewhere around here. I don't know what happened to it, but I finally got the Surviv Survivor Series DVD that I went to. Um, I don't know what the heck happened to it. Oh, here it is. I got it. I got this the same day that I got that. But I haven't watched it yet. The Survivor Series 2011. Rock and Cena tagging up against Miz and uh, R-Truth. Big Show versus uh, Mark Henry. Of course, you know the card. CM Park winning the title over Alberto Del Rio. And I love that match. I want to watch it again. Um, so, yep. Yeah, those are my pickups. And, um... Again, this is Triple H Guy 2004. Sorry, I haven't been here doing videos. For the people that do watch my videos, I know there's a few out there that do. So, I will see you guys later, and peace.